Well, you're listening to CKUA. My name is Grant, and really thrilled to have your company this morning and thrilled to have a conversation next with Kev Liang, an Edmonton-based visual artist who has a new exhibition at the New Gallery in Calgary called Jayo. It's on now through March 9th, and I am very excited to say that Kev Liang joins us right now. Kev, welcome. It is so great to have you here at CKUA Studios. Thank you for making some time to come join us. Oh, thank you for having me. It's really cool. It's extremely cool, and I've had a chance to take a look at some of the work you've done for this new exhibition, and it is striking. It's so, so, so visually arresting, and yet so familiar at the same time. I mean, mm-hmm. even though this is really innovative work, you're using a lot of objects that will seem familiar to people that come and encounter it. Could you, could you tell us a little bit about what this, what the visual appearance is for those that walk into the new gallery and, and see your work? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the minute you walk into the gallery, you're going to see a lot of blue. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, it's a gallery I had the privilege of transforming into a sort of different space that I've always wanted to do since really my BFA of just completely plastering the walls and some of the floors with uh, blue tarps. And so you'll see a lot of blue, a lot of tarps, as well as some things that pop in a different color that are more relational and related to my sense of identity and place as a uh, Chinese second generation Chinese Canadian. So there's things like 3D printed chopsticks and bowls and a frying wok that once belonged to my family. So... And these are items that actually saw, like, a work in a Chinese restaurant in, in your family's history in, in rural Alberta, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I didn't just, like, get some random walk. I had <laughs> a really old walk that my parents once used that had a lot of, like, you see a lot of age in it and a lot of, like, marks and burnt uh, textures and all that. And, it just, yeah, it's like a sense of history behind the walk and, yeah, a lot of context and ideas behind it as well in terms of like where I come from and the whole idea of like immigrant labor. Yeah. And that juxtaposition of those items from Chinese culture, Chinese food culture in particular, with that striking blue Mm -hmm. of the tarps. Why the tarps and and why blue? And and how does that all fit into what you're saying here? Yes. Okay. Well, (laughs) there's a lot. Um, (laughs) Blue. We'll start with that. Um, I think a lot of people, when they think of just Chinese culture, Chinese spaces, China in general, I think they typically think red. Red is um, a color of happiness, a color of like prosperity. I mean, it's all over Chinese New Year. It's on red envelopes with money. It's uh, a lot of like wishful thinking and like positivity and Mm -hmm. just like wishing generations a lot of like good luck and uh, again, wealth. It's a very like sort of wealth oriented culture. Um, so my choice of finding a material that is just blue, 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 it's my own, originally it was my own sense of, uh, detachment from my culture. Like I grew up in a very small town and for the longest time I was the only Asian person and definitely the only Chinese person. So I grew up with a dual identity and was kind of dis, um, felt a little disconnected from my Chinese-ness and I didn't feel Chinese enough. And then over time, I, like, worked with the material more, and I grew to understand that it's also, like, um, in sort of, like, Western standards, it's very much the color of grief. Um, there's a lot of, like, you know, like, people say, why are you why so blue? Or, like, ah, why are you feeling blue? Right. It's a lot of grief behind it um, because I just feel a lot of, um, a lot of, yes, of course, grief, um, shame, and guilt, a lot of guilt when it comes to my family just because... I think a lot of people can understand that coming from a second generation immigrant sort of perspective that um, there's a lot of pressure put on me to succeed in the world and succeed with a lot of Chinese families means money, wealth, you know, the typical, the stereotype of like, oh, you should be a doctor, you should be an engineer, all that stuff. So the fact that I ended up as (laughs) in the arts, um, I'm kind of not what they wanted and not what they expected. And also there's a lot of, with the blue, there's also a lot of, um, again, in Western standards, that sort of male performativity. We see it as like the gendered color for men. And so uh, me being born a male, but also being born a a homosexual, um, that also is another layer of something that my parents maybe perhaps have a hard time digesting and Mm -hmm. accepting. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that part the aspect of me not being able to like 
um, have a family and have a wife and all that stuff on top of the fact that I am struggling to be so-called prosperous and wealthy. Um, there's a lot of guilt and a lot of grief with that, and I wanted to transform a gallery space into my own sort of weird, uncanny sort of like space and Chinese restaurant space that is just plastered with blue that is such a strong color with a lot of a lot of different interpretations of that color. And Love it so much. <laughs> that so eloquently put. And the, the work is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's so personal. It's so beautifully done. Kev, uh, really excited to get a chance to get inside your artistic process and, and this beautiful new exhibition. And just, just briefly, uh, the title of this exhibition is an old Chinese saying, uh, a word of commendation or of encouragement, right? What, what, does this, what does this term mean to you? Yes, uh, I decided as soon as I graduated from art school and decided to sort of build a practice for myself and get myself out there. I really want it. I, I'm someone, people who know me well know that I'm someone who struggles with titling artwork. I don't like to make something and then title that and make another thing and title that. I just want something that is very powerful that encapsulates an entire practice or an entire body of work. So that phrase is, yes, a phrase of encouragement, meaning like it literally means add oil, but it is used... <laughs> as a way of saying, like, keep going, keep fighting, like, don't give up, you know, add fuel, add oil, add gas. Mm -hmm. um, and so originally I wanted to kind of have it as like a poetic way of touching on the fact that I come from a Chinese restaurant background. I was, uh, since I was a baby, I was raised in the back of a Chinese restaurant and witnessed a lot of backbreaking hard labor that my parents went through, um, you know, working in a hot kitchen every single day of their lives, and it's a huge sacrifice. Um, so there's a, it's a way of touching on that idea of literal oil in the wok, adding oil in the Chinese kitchen, but also as a way of me telling myself to like, uh, it's touching on my own sense of perseverance and just keeping, keep on going and working harder. But it's also, for me at least, a little bit of a pessimistic thing where I feel like I uh, am working towards nothing in a sense and that I, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a little hopeless in my own way. Like people know I'm a pessimist, um, <laughs> but it also touches on the fact that we live in so-called oil country and I'm really fascinated with the parallels of, you know, oil and gas as well as like the poetic oil and the walk, um, you know, talking about mm. the Albertan uh, Chinese immigrant experience that are t kind of like hidden and not really talked about. And then as well as the plastic synthetic material of the tarps, right. you know. Petroleum projects. Exactly. Yeah. Plastics <laughs> come from oil. A lot of things come from oil. And for me to have all those different parallels put together in a in an installation with plastic synthetic tarps, oil of the walk, and uh, the title that touches on not just my own individual experience of um, perseverance and tenacity, but also touches on bigger communities like Chinatown, as well as, um, you know, the Hong Kong protests of pro-democracy, which is, a, they use that phrase a lot. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of layers. Yeah. Jayo. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, what an incredible privilege. I'm so thrilled we had a chance to, to share this time with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's, yeah, it really means a lot to have any platform at any time. And yeah, it's great. Thank you. <laughs> it's a true joy to get a chance to, to get inside this work from Kev Liang, which you can go and check out at the New Gallery in Calgary on now through March 9th. Jiayo is the t title of the show. And you can find out all about it, find details, plan your trip, and take a look at some of this artwork if you go to thenewgallery.org. Thank you, Kev. Thank you so much.